So for me as a Munich native, it is of course very cool to have such an important expo as the IAA in my hometown, or the IAA as we say in Germany. Um, and you may have heard that Chinese brands have a very strong showing at this year's show. And right now, we're at the stand of a quite new brand called Ito. So let's have a look what's going on here. So let's enter the booth. Obviously, there's quite a lot going on here. I'm going to try to squeeze myself through this. ITO stands for Adding Intelligence to Auto. And they see themselves in the new luxury intelligent car market. Um, here you see the five, by the way. They have sold, listen to that, only sold over 750,000 cars since they started about four years ago. It's quite impressive. And uh, okay, let me, let me guide you through here. This is open space. Here you can see all the cars, by the way. Four cars define their family. Um, uh, their most successful car is over here with roughly 230,000 units sold until now is the big Ito 9. Look at that. It's comparable in size to a BMW X7 or a Mercedes, G Mercedes GLS. And uh, quite impressive thing, right? And then there's the Ito 7 they don't have at the booth, which is a bit more than uh, five meters long. And then what you see here is the Ito 5. And the newest member of the family, let me walk you over there. This is the Ito 8, which you see here more about that in a minute. The newest car in the Ito lineup is their so called family intelligent flagship SUV Ito 8 with a length of 5.20 meters. It's almost as big as the Ito 9, but it costs a little less. It is powered by two electric motors and a 1.5 liter gasoline engine that serves as a range extender. Let's see here. The design, very clean, very sleek. It delivers an output of 533 horsepower and goes from 0 to 100 kph in 5.2 seconds. With a 52 kilowatt hour battery, the max electric range is 252 kilometers. The combined range is pretty impressive, 1,345 kilometers. So inside, uh, you get a layout with five, or as you can see in this case, with six seats. Like in the Ito 9, you get, let me show you that. Here in the front, you get three big screens in the front and you've probably seen it already. Look at this, uh, the massive 32 inch cinema screen in the back. Plus, as you can see here, is Ito zero gravity seats that can recline in angles up to 121 degrees like you see the foot rest here in the front if you want to take a nap or relax pretty cool huh so come on and join me let's have a look what ito has up its sleeve in terms of design innovation their platform and their powertrain solutions so my friends let's move on to ito's ml platform they call it a scalable intelligent platform and it handles the safety part pretty well in development they successfully crashed it into trucks and they did over 150 battery safety simulations. The platform is flexible when it comes to powertrains. It can handle electric motors with or without range extender. Here you see the one with the range extender. It can also do plug-in hybrids. The chassis design consists of double wishbones at the front. And let me move to the back. And a five-link suspension at the rear. You can have dual chamber air springs with continuous damping control, rear wheel steering, and so on. Wheelbase, you see it here. It's adaptable and it ranges from 2,900 to 3,200 millimeters, covering sedans, SUVs, and MPVs. Well, and of course, the electronic architecture in these cars is absurdly advanced, uh, delivering full life cycle over the air updates and a lot more. So, right now in all Ito cars, we see one or two electric motors with a gasoline range extended, when you see here. But what we see over here is the next generation of their range extender setup. And I'm not sure I have seen anything like this before because it now combines four electric motors with an ICE powertrain. In the front, we see the range extender. It has over 120 kilowatts of power with an integrated dual motor drive system. And at the rear, it's also one electric motor per wheel, all within an 800 involved platform. So the independent torque distribution is perfect for off-roading. It helps stabilize the car, it minimizes the turning radius, and it's good for the fun stuff, like the tank turn. And you think we all love the tank turn, right? 
So as you can see, there's really a lot going on at IDO and I'm pretty sure there's a lot more to come. Follow our channels, we'll keep you updated.